بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویوز ویلکم ونس اگین ٹو مائی چینل دوز آف یو دیٹ آر ریگولر ویوز موسٹ ویلکم دوز آف یو دیٹ آر نیو یو آر آلموسٹ ویلکم سو ایز یو کین سی ایم بیک ایٹ دا ریلوے اسٹیشن اینڈ وی گوئنگ ٹو کیری آن آور جرنی آف می شوئنگ یو مائی چائلڈ ہڈ میموریز اینڈ the Victorian buildings that are of significance in Halifax and at the present moment we're focusing on the buildings of the Crossleys. So I'll just show you some of the scenes around the railway station or remind you of the scenes. Firstly, there we have the uh, Children's Museum, Eureka and on this side the rest of the town so previously we turned right at this point and I went on to show you some of the buildings in town and then some of the buildings outside of town so today we're going to go out towards uh, uh, Manor Heath and Savile Park and those areas to show you other Uh, buildings that were built by the Crossleys. Okay viewers, we're going to start our journey. So unfortunately, I've chosen a, a wet day, but obviously I had a lot of commitments uh, during the week. So we're going to go out of the railway station when we uh, get the chance. It's proving to be more difficult than we thought, but we shall get there, no doubt. So. Uh, We are now leaving the railway station and we're going to be turning left. So the right hand turning is towards uh, Winding Road, the left hand turning is towards Church Street. So if you remember the head ahead of us, Horton Street and of course that led to the rest of the town and also there's an entrance to the Peace Hall. Okay, so uh, and there are going to be stops and starts but this building I think I have explained in my time uh, used to be a, a warehouse for uh, woolen merchants and then from the 1970s onwards it has been various retail units and as you can see there uh, is a large uh, furniture warehouse So we've turned left into um, Church Street and then at that next roundabout we're going to be turning um, right and that will take us back towards Commercial Street but at that point it's not called Commercial Street it's actually called Huddersfield Road and you, that is the way to Huddersfield. So at this roundabout we're going to be turning uh, right So in previously, previous days this was a very uh, semi-industrial area with lots of uh, wholesalers and merchants but on this side uh, the building you see there used to be an army barracks and now it has been converted into uh, apartments. This is Clare Road which contains a lot of merchants from the olden days. The next building that you see on the right hand side is to be a courthouse and the building on this side yeah, used to house our uh, swimming pools. So we are turning right and that of course is uh, uh, leading on to uh, commercial streets although at this point it has a different name. It's called Portland Place and on this side it's uh, Huddersfield Road. The building that you see in front of you used to be uh, a school called Clare Hall and then it changed its name to the Halifax Academy and eventually that is now housed on um, the outskirts on Gibbet Street and this is now Apartments. 
okay so we can reach our destination if we went straight ahead but we are going to turn right because I want to show you uh, some of the other buildings that are along the way and also the the route which of course is um, partly uh, next to the carriageway So Prescott Street quickly becomes Commercial Street after this and as you can see on the left hand side we have our wonderful uh, Halifax Bank and we're going to steer left here towards King Cross and that will take us to our destination so straight ahead the rest of Commercial Street if you remember the uh, Victoria Theatre, uh, the uh, the cinemas that used to be in my days, uh, the Halifax Bank on the other side. So this street is called Fountain Street, as I recall, used to house pawnbrokers and solicitors in my time. So we are at Bull Green and this roundabout will take us towards King Cross and the then the other villages such as Mytham Road, uh, Sorby Bridge and eventually into Lancashire. So we're turning left and this is known as King Cross Road. I have been up this road before so the road on, on this side is across Hopwood Lane. If you remember this building we had the, uh, is the iconic uh, Courier building and we're eventually coming up to the, the playhouse. But we are carrying on as you can see. We have the carriageway that's slightly elevated. So from here we bear left and we're going to join the carriageway so as you can see ahead of us is the carriageway and there to start off with is Park Road with uh, the King Centre I should have mentioned that the King Centre used to be a uh, uh, public baths yeah. next to it is People's Park and we're going to turn left into here and on to Arden Road and stop there and I will show you the other buildings of the Crossleys. So once we join Arden Road then we will stop here. So when we can find a convenient place we will stop and I will start filming outside. So viewers, I've decided to just uh, film outside Arden Road for a, for a short while to show you the surroundings. Straight down there is uh, Arden Road and Swires Road. And just to show you, that is the carriageway that we came up uh, and Park Road at the bottom and People's Park on this side, the wonderful People's Park. I think I forgot to mention that the idea for People's Park actually came from uh, America, the Crossleys went to uh, New England and saw parks and decided to copy them. So this is the carriageway, if we go that way it's uh, Parkinson Lane and straight ahead as I say is King Cross but this is what I've really come to show you. So this part of it is called Swires Road and further down uh, Arden Road but it's really these uh, Allen's houses that I have come to show you so I'll try and film as much of this as I possibly can because they are obviously private grounds so I'm going to uh, try and uh, be as quick as I can. So I've managed to cross the road safely and show you more of this wonderful building. As you can see uh, by the sign these uh, Alms houses were built by uh, Joseph Crossley 
uh, so they contain the houses and also a chapel uh, within so some wonderful uh, Victorian architecture so I'll just uh, walk along the path and uh, straight out on to the other side so a wonderful archway and wonderful towers I think these were built around the 18, uh, 1860s so they are now flats for uh, elderly people but in the Crossley's time they were what's known as alms houses so we have a summer house there as well for the residents to enjoy and more flats in the background okay so it is a wonderful estate and just enjoy and admire this view so sorry if I've pan a bit too quickly so that is one entry and exit and then there's another one down there that I'm going to go out of so I'm at the other entry and exit which is actually on Arden Road and I'll just do a quick span all the way around and heads towards the Arden Road exit okay so we're going to carry on our journey from here viewers and show you another of the Crossley's buildings so I'm going to get into the car and then uh, we will carry on our journey Amazing. so we're carrying on our journey now viewers along Arden Road we're going to go straight ahead towards an area called Savile Park so as you can see this is a wonderful residential area and it has uh, uh, nice schools both junior and uh, high school so Arden Road finishes there and Savile Park Road starts from here. This contains some wonderful uh, Victorian architecture including ahead of us Bellevue Hall which uh, also used to be a chapel. So we're carrying on uh, along Savile Park Road. This short area as I say is called Bell, uh, Bell Hall so like any other area it also contains a church which you see at the end and then after this it is Savile Park and we're just going to stop there for a short while and I'll show you just one feature that's here so ahead of us is Savile Park and I just want to uh, film for a short while here when we find a parking spot so this is a continuation of Savile Park Road I guess I'm going to get out and film outside so I've just uh, stopped here to show you uh, more of what's known as Savile Park. So the Savills is another famous Halifax uh, family, although they are more what uh, I would describe as uh, aristocrats. Uh, I think uh, they had uh, sort of uh, power and were actually quite involved in the English Civil War as well, but I'll leave you to do uh, the research so there are three parts to it uh, nowadays we have this lar very large area that contains this open playing fields and then there's the uh, 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 grammar school then on this is a smaller area 
and the rest of the area of there. The church over there is called St. Jude's that we passed and well, the building that we've come to see is actually further up there called uh, Crossley Heath now which is a grammar school but in uh, earlier times in Victorian times it was called uh, C uh, Crossley Porter. So the other thing that I've stopped to show you is this uh, water feature which at the time of the Victorians was a gift to the people so that they could uh, you know drink water at various uh, places so this one was built in 1869 and it just says uh, drink water and tells us that a certain Mr. Thorpe uh, built this place okay so it was also an attempt to uh, perhaps uh, I think uh, so here it says uh, water is best so I was going to say uh, an attempt to stop uh, refraining from alcohol so I, to, as you can see today there is a fun fair on but normally it is used as sports facilities okay viewers so we're going to get uh, back into the car and carry on with our journey okay viewers we're carrying on our journey along Savile Park Road a lot of people call this uh, Skirkett Moor which is its original name but as I said the area was purchased by the Samuel, Savile family who were very big in uh, agriculture and as I said they were aristocrats and had earlships so we had an, uh, the Earl of Halifax who was a Mr Savile so I will leave you to research that history but uh, just like the Crossleys they donated this area for the pleasure and recreation of the people of Halifax so we're going to turn right at these traffic lights here and I think that road is called Skirkett Moor Road and at the top of that is our destination today and we will be ending our journey there when I describe the Crossley Heath School to you as it is known as so uh, that's a very uh, famous building because it started life off as an orphanage at that time it was called the Crossley Porter uh, Orphanage the land belonged to the Crossley family and a certain Mr Porter who was uh, a merchant from Manchester funded the orphanage school so it obviously outlived that and then eventually became a grammar school under various names and it is known today as the Crossley Heath School so as you can see on the other side there are some wonderful period buildings so the building will come into view in a minute and we're going to stop okay so the building is on the right hand side and we're going to stop here so that I can show you a little bit more of the building and end the journey today so this is the wonderful uh, Crossley Heath School like I say in, in the olden days it used to be known as the uh, Crossley Porter Orphanage but now it is a grammar school and once again it has significance for me because when I came in the late 60s I used to attend uh, summer schools that were held here for people to uh, learn English and then subsequently my children have been to this school and I have been a teacher uh, at the school as well. So that brings us to the end of today's uh, journey uh, viewers. I do hope that you have enjoyed the uh, buildings that I've shown you and we will pick it up from here for the next part of the journey where I show you more significant uh, buildings that the Crossleys 
have built or the Victorians have built and have uh, played a significant part in my life. Okay, so I will bid you goodbye. Uh, so, time to practice my Urdu again. Allah Hafiz. Apna khayal rakhna, dusro ka khayal rakhna, duaon mein yaad rakhna. Allah Hafiz.